All right, so here are the materials needed for today's painting. I went by Joanne's store, which is like a fabric store and art supply store. And I got a super value eight pack of nine by 12 stretch canvas. And I got some Elmer's glue there too. Um, you can use Elmer's glue regular, or you can use the Elmer's glue glue all. Um, I just prefer to use the Elmer's glue regular school glue. And I stopped by Lowe's and I got some flood flow troll. Uh, they don't have flood flow troll in some countries, so you'll have to look for what's called paint conditioner. And I'm also going to use Artist Loft Flow Acrylic and the Flow Acrylic White. Um, so got metallic gold and white going on there. And the Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. And I have distilled water put on here, but I just put, I got tired of using distilled water and I use regular water. I also have some pens that we're going to put on the canvases. And this is uh, basically a cake icing spreader that I'm going to use to do the swipe. And I wanted to point out that the reason we use Elmer's glue in these paintings is because it acts as a binder to the paint. And I use the flow troll because it acts more as a, a paint medium to the paint. So that's the reason why we use the glue and the flow troll. I also picked up some little wooden stir sticks at Walmart and some plastic cups to put our paint in. Today we're also going to be using spot on brand treadmill belt lubricants, 100% silicone. And you can find this on amazon.com. These packs of canvases were like $25 so that was some of the most uh, the glue ran about $12 the flow troll about $11 so let's get started we'll open up our packs of canvases here you want to be careful that way you don't you don't cut through your canvas so you want to use a sharp knife but don't press down really hard and then I'm gonna put the little pins on the bottom here I'll just need four And I always find a little splice of wood and stick it right in between the little splice of wood. Oops, that one broke, so that one's no good. Sometimes they do that, especially ones that I've used before, sometimes break on me. Let's put that out there. I don't want to step on that. So this is going to be a pretty simple pour. We're going to have three colors, white, gold, and metallic cobalt. And first off, I want to pour the glue in. So it's about 50-50 on the glue and the paint. Maybe not quite that much. You can even go maybe 50-30 on the glue and the paint, and meaning uh, not as much paint. 
you just want to have your colors bold as bold as possible because if you don't use that much paint then your colors will be washed out so get a stir stick for that one and notice I'm doing just the glue and the paint right now. This might be a little bit old, so I might have to pour it from here. So that was about 50-50. And on the darker colors, you don't have to go as much paint if you don't want to. So then you stir this together. I'm making these videos because I want them to be really simplistic and really easy for you to do because I know that all of you out there can do this so right now it's really thick you can tell how thick it is and that's why we're gonna come back and use the flow troll but you want to do the glue and the paint first that way it gives the glue a chance to bind to the paint to all those colors in there. You wanna make sure you get all the glue out. So now, since we're half, we're half and half on our paint, we're just gonna add a little bit of Floetrol to thin things down. That cap is on there. Sometimes the Floetrol gets a little rubbery. Oh, it looks like I need to mix it up. Because it should be pure white. There we go. So maybe about 25% to 30 to even 40% on the flow trawl. Yeah, see that thins it out really nice. Oh, I forgot about my silicone. See how nice that makes it? Makes it really smooth. We want it to be even a little bit thinner than that. We want it to run off there really nice. That actually might be thin enough. Looks like when I mixed it a little bit more it got thin enough. Oh yeah, that's really nice. Okay, now let me stop and get my silicone. 
So I got my mix already made up and I'm gonna add my silicone. And I only wanna add just a few tiny drops. And that's it. A lot of people put way too much silicone in when they're first starting out. So you don't want to do that because it will mess things up. You only want just a few little drops. Oh, and when you go to stir the silicone, you only want to stir it about three times like that. And just like that, you don't want to stir it in to your paint too much at all because that makes it worse. You'll get smaller cells if you stir it too much. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try and do this with one hand. And I think I'm gonna put my white on there first. And notice I put it on one end. That's because I'm going to swipe it down. Then I'm going to put some gold on there. Then I'm going to put some cobalt blue on there. Okay, now it's time to swipe. First, let me back up this little bit here, just so I get the good paint coverage. And look how easy that was. See those cells that are coming out? Slowly they'll come out. You guys can seriously do this. It's so easy. That's pretty awesome. I think I got pretty good paint coverage too. I might have to get a little bit over here on this side. But you can tell the nice big cells that are coming out. And I'm not even hitting it with a heat gun or anything. So one of the most important part is, is drying, letting this dry to, letting it get to a flat point to where it can dry really nice. So there it is. It's looking pretty cool. I love all those big rich cells going on there. And see, you can get that from just typical cheap supplies. You don't need to go out and buy the really expensive stuff to be able to do paintings like this trust me it's easy you can do it those cells are really looking cool there one thing i wanted to mention is that i didn't even have to use any water the flow trawl made just the right enough flow for it to be able to come on the canvas right. So sometimes you don't have to use water, sometimes you have to use a little bit of water. It just depends on what paint brand and how much paint you use in your cup. This is really looking awesome from this side. I love it. You just want to make sure you set it on a really level, level surface because you want your paint to look the same as it is right now 
so when it dries it will dry out just the same and since I have a lot of paint left over I'm just gonna go ahead and cover that for right now I just wanted to let you know that if you see too many drips to one side that means your painting isn't very level and all your paint is going to run off on one side the reason why I have so much white over there is because that's where I started my pour but all in all if you see the drips the drips are looking pretty consistent all the way around so that means it's pretty level so it's going to dry good just want to make sure of that so I went ahead and put a few little popsicle sticks or stir sticks under this side because I felt that this right here was pushing that way a little bit. So I wanted to prop it up a little bit more. But look at how big these cells are. This is really nice. I'm really loving it. And this goes to show you that you only need just a few drops of silicone and you don't need to stir it in that much. Okay, doing a 15 minute checkup. Everything's still looking pretty good. And one thing I forgot to mention is you notice how I didn't keep swiping and swiping again and again. That's because you want the biggest brightest nicest cells possible and if you just keep swiping you're just basically mixing the paint on the canvas all together but this is looking pretty good for 15 minutes down the road so this painting is wrapped up I'm gonna go ahead and let it dry for five to ten days and then I'm gonna wash it down with some Dawn ultra gentle clean uh, real lightly and then let it dry really good and the reason why you want to use Dawn soap is because you want to get that silicone all the way off of the canvas if possible you want to try and get that all the way off because that silicone is really slick and when you try and put this Liquitex gloss varnish on it um, you don't want it to bead up and then I'm going to put about five coats of Liquitex Professional Gloss Varnish. Um, you can find that on Amazon.com. And that's about it. I'm telling you, this is so easy. You guys could do this. I know you can. Um, just keep painting. You're going to love it.